Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Ganchi Plans. Um, today's video is a weekly plan with me video, which it's a little bit different than usual. So what I usually do is I plan the week that the video is coming out, like I would be planning this week, um, which doesn't have dates, so whatever, I could have done that anyway. Um, but uh, today I'm actually going to be planning with you, or yeah, uh, the next week, so uh basically let me just show you quickly um these have been on my instagram first of all cutie little, little thingy there she just started walking last night um i always put a photo at the front of my weeklies because i like these frosted dividers and they make me happy and this is for my hb sprocket which i don't talk about very often but there you go um this was week one and so i've been using these fold outs excuse me for two months now and I love them having this accessible list so um, then I have this month this is a new addition as I'm using insert two which is a split weekly um, and then the weekend part of it is at the end here and then in the middle I have just an assortment of dailies so I was using 45 here and then 46 then I have um, the yeah, 48 this one is the cleaning insert I was gonna use sort of as my weekend daily uh, but I ended up only really just doing this I didn't end up actually planning it out as far as morning afternoon evening my Saturday got derailed um, but I did get a lot done I've been working on I don't know I'm feeling the uh, spring cleaning urge in the summer which is not super convenient but anyway there you go. And then uh, I was also using another one that I'll show you in a second. Let's see, here's week two, which I just, uh, I'm filming this on Tuesday. Um, and I guess part of it is I just didn't get around to filming over the weekend. Um, I've been liking filming on Tuesdays instead. Uh, so this is the, the first page of the split weekly, which has Monday through Friday on it. I've, I've drew out some little icons here. That was fun. Um, and actually, like yesterday, Monday, I didn't use a daily. I just used this. Um, you can see I got some stuff done. But here, like, morning film. Here I am. That's why I have to do it. Even though I didn't get as much sleep last night as I tried to. I got distracted on YouTube. So this insert is 49. This one's the project daily. Or the, like, productivity daily, I think is what it's called. I'm using it just as, like, a project page. Um, I've been meaning, like, wanting to make a project planning insert for a long time, um, and I just couldn't get inspired to, like, find and figure out what it was that I wanted on a project planning insert, but I may have accidentally a project planning insert, um, and so this is working really well for that, and I have this, like, it was just going to be for the week, but now I'm still working on some stuff in the nursery, um, so, like, yesterday I was organizing shoes but I still have there's a lot of shoes there are a lot of shoes anyway and then on the back side is the next project I'm going to be working on which is my wardrobe my shoes my room because the baby finally moved out uh, so I'm allowed to like be in there in the evenings with the light on which is a game changer um, she's been doing really well they've both been doing really well in there so anyway uh, that's why that's that's the only daily I have in the middle of this one but we are here today to plan next week uh, so I'll leave that out because I'm gonna be well all right so we're gonna start with this is how I'm storing everything um, I have these foldouts just sort of smacked here and then the weeklies here and that's not perfect but it does all stay together so here are Saturday Sunday sorry Monday through it's the week Toss the fold up on this side. We're now halfway through the month. You get shocks like that a lot when you plan ahead. Like I do my weekly plan, or my monthly plan with me is the last Thursday of the month, whenever that is. And on weeks that start with a Thursday, that means that I'm planning like a week and a half in advance of the, the month starting. Um, so that's just kind of scary. You go like, ah, where did the where did the month go? It's like, well, it's not gone yet. But still, it's coming. So um, I'm, I justified my decision to plan next week instead of this week. Um, 
for you today because next week is just more interesting. You can even see it here on the monthly. Um, this is this week. It is blank. And then, well, it has my father-in-law's birthday. I have no idea what the plans are for that yet, so I can't put anything in my planner yet. Um, but then next week has, like, things happening. So I'm going to go ahead and fill... Um, just prep these pages and decorate and fill out like the actual events that are happening. A little bit of decoration, a little bit of practicality. Unfortunately, this does mean there's not going to be a lot of practical, but let me just quickly go over like what I've been doing for like on yesterday when I actually, or Sunday when I moved everything from one week to the other. I guess it's a weekly migration, right? I'm trying to make this practical because I know, well, if it was me, I would like to have some real, like, hands-on actual planning stuff and not just the decorative. So, basically, my my to-do list here for the week is, <laughs> I had nothing in the next week section here, which I often do, and I do again. Um, on top, I have, like, the weekly, uh, or, like, things I'm trying to focus on that week for projects. Um didn't finish any of them, but those are my focuses and then to do. So anything I didn't get done needs to get migrated, right? That's pretty straightforward. Um, let's see what got migrated. Lettuce seeds got migrated to next week, straight to next week. Cause it's one of those things. I'm like, I didn't get it done. I'm not going to get it done next week. It doesn't have to get done next week. I'm just going to move it to this, which I've already established in previous videos. This next week is metaphorical. It just means the way that my daughter says yesterday and today, meaning the past and the future. It's very liberating um, any time in the future. It could be next week, could be, and it just has to happen before September. So sometime this month, I need to, I, I have like this whole big head of, um, uh, what's it called? Sprouted or bolted lettuce seeds that are all dried out and they just need to be like processed and put in an envelope. So that's what that is. Um, passwords. I need to update some passwords. Baby book. That needs to happen before the birthday. And then the cell clothes thing. Like I need to go through my wardrobe. It is bloated. It is unwieldy. It needs to be reorganized. Uh, there's a lot of sweaters that just don't need to be taking up space this time of year, for example. Um, but there's also some things I think that I could probably sell. There's at least one baby item. Like, I don't know if you can tell from the few glimpses you get of my style, but I'm not the kind of person who would put an infant in a Juicy Couture t-shirt. And it's got tags, and I could probably get like 10 bucks for it, but I'm going to, you know, a bunch. So, gifts or hand-me-downs, I think. Anyway, the point, uh, I migrated stuff over either to this week or next week. Picked the chores. I put chores instead of this week, but this is like the same idea. The I'm feeling motivated. The projects I'm feeling motivated to do right now are mostly cleaning and tidying like of rooms, an organization of rooms. I hate cleaning, but I kind of love an organization project, even though they can it can be a lot to organize an entire room while still like living in it and not upending everything. So like in the middle of this, the whole point of going through the nursery and tidying it up and stuff is to move our younger daughter in there um because like the toy box was in her crib so then I need to get storage boxes for under the bed and uh I then also like she was outgrowing her size nine month jammies and so wardrobe turnover that's all packed and I think at this point this is the last set of box of clothes that's getting sent to the garage between kids which is crazy um but you know they slow down at some point One's in 3T and one's going into like 18 months-ish because we don't have that many 12-month clothes apparently. I thought we did, but either we do and we've lost them or we don't. And we're we're moving straight straight up into 18 months. I'm talking a lot. Um, I just woke up, guys. So anyway, that's uh, the stuff that I kind of like. You can't migrate a to-do list if you haven't even had a chance to take a peck at it. Um, and it's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. I also can't d like say how far along I'll have gotten on either of these projects. Hopefully this will be like done. There's just a couple things left. And then the nursery can just be theirs to run wild in. Um, but I really want to get a handle on this cause like I don't have a place to put my clothes and that's why my room is such a mess. That's the other reason my room is a mess. Um, and I think maybe get the pack and play out of there because 
she's not sleeping in there anymore. So yeah, I, I'm, do I'm dawdling. I have been carrying around all of my washi tape in my purse with me, as well as this little guy. Like I just carry the pens that match, um, or the ones that I use for content planning. And let's just go ahead and, man, I, I hate just copying straight up what I did last week, but like, kind of like the look of it. So let's just real quick lay down some washi tape. took me a minute there to decide which uh, of these pencils I wanted to use. This came from a little sampler from Planner Kate the last time I placed an order. Um, and it has several shades of red and pink. And generally I think of this month as being kind of red. Um, Cause like, but also it's a very faint red. And uh, also this pink here, this like magenta seems to match really well with like the washi I'm using. Um, so three of these would have been a good fit, but also I want to save like the very best one uh, for next week, which is the actual first day of school on Monday. Um, and so I wanted to use the second best one for the meet the teacher night on next Thursday. Um, and so as you see, there's things going on. Um, the actual like timeline of events for each individual day has not yet necessarily been decided, like how long it's going to take to drive to this funeral or what time there's like three different presentations which of them we're going to go to um what the actual plans are for lola's birthday um so that's what it is but like i have not had a weekly spread in such a long time um i can't even remember right now off the top of my head when the last time i had like this was um to put like decorative stuff on a weekly and so the fact that it's been that long that's why i wanted to show you this because I do enjoy um, the occasion to decorate a daily. Basically, if something's going to take up a chunk of my day anyway, um, then you may as well cover it with something pretty. And then, um, you know, like if, for example, again, this next Monday, I um, just want to get stuff done, but I don't need a full daily. I can just fill it with just a straight up ch a checklist to do list. But as you can see, this is just more fun to show you than this is. Um, again, I've got all these little icons. Let me put this back. It's flopping all over the place. It was much easier to write on the page if I took it out, which I don't always do, but it was just right there next to the rings. Um, I like using this side of the page for, like, the thing I, like, there's categories of things I want to get done every single day. Like, for example, a load of laundry per day, obviously one dinner per day, one morning per day. So, that is uh, what these lines are for. And so I put an icon so I wouldn't keep forgetting what I had assigned each line to. So there you go. Um, little sun for morning. That's supposed to be a laundry basket. It doesn't matter if you see a laundry basket. I know what it means. That's supposed to be a little broom for chore, which like yesterday was organizing shoes. Um, today, hopefully, I'll get started on my own closet. Dinner and then evening. So I don't have a lot of evening plans lately because I've been waking up early, which is the reason I keep bringing coffee to my filming sessions, as I mentioned. Um, but I still sometimes will need something 
uh, to get something done before bed. Um, anyway, so that's basically it. That was the plan with me part that, uh, as you see, was mostly decorative right now because a lot of the specific details are not decided yet. But I also wanted to kind of tell you a little bit about what I've been using as my setup and why and why it's working or not or whatever. Because, I don't know, I, I find that interesting and I hope you do too. If you do, subscribe because I post videos every Thursday. Some of them are more decorative and some of them are more chatty, but a lot of them are very chatty lately. Um... I looked at the time and we actually didn't start planning in this play with me video until like 11 minutes in. So, um, I hope that's okay with you. Like the video if it is, and I will see you guys next Thursday. Bye.